Parts of Ukraine's capital, Kyiv, ravaged after three consecutive days of Russian rocket attacks. The widespread assaults battering Ukraine's critical energy and water infrastructure. Military experts saying Russian President Putin's recent attacks on civilian targets smacks of desperation and his repeated threats to use tactical nuclear weapons can't be ignored. During an interview on CNN, President Biden addressing those concerns. Once you use a nuclear weapon, the mistakes that can be made, the miscalculations, who knows what would happen. Despite that, the president doesn't believe Putin will launch a nuclear attack. Still, at NATO, leaders say they are closely monitoring Putin. We continue to watch indicators, uh, indications and uh, any type of warning that, uh, that he may have made a decision to go uh, in a different direction. In Zaporizhia, continued aerial attacks by the Kremlin, raising fears of a nuclear fallout. Reactors at Europe's largest nuclear plant now running on backup generators after Russian attacks knocked out critical electrical power. <inaudible> Ukraine's prime minister warning power and heating cuts could be necessary if Moscow strikes continue. And new concerns at the Ukraine-Belarus border. The Belarusian defense minister confirming his forces are working with Russian troops there in what Belarus is calling a response to actions near its borders. Justin Finch, ABC News, Washington.